my uh, YouTube channel is about motorbike traveling, vlogging of the trips I made by my motorbike. This video is not, however, because in some videos I present an animated map of the route I have ridden that day. And I had to figure out in Filmora how do I create those map animations. That took me some time. I finished it and now I want to present to you the way I have did it. Mostly for my own purposes to look after it after a couple of months when I need to use it again. But might be it is helpful for you also. To be able to do map animation in Filmora you need to have two images of the very same map. One map which does not have the route and another map that does have the route. Why two images of the same map? That's because you are going to put those two images in Filmora on top of each other and then you blend from one image to the other. How to do that comes in a couple of minutes. First question is how to create two images of the very same map. For that I am using software called MyRoute app, which is available for free on the internet. There are lots of other tools where you can do the same thing, but my choice is uh, for a couple of years already to use MyRoute app. Here you see an example of a uh, route I have prepared. It is going from uh, Oda in Norway to uh, Besseren and I'll need to have two dumps of this very same map. Inside my route app I have the ability to uh, prepare save as and um, choose to export it as a KML file. Why a KML? Because a KML can be imported to Google Maps and um, from there you have the ability to uh, present it the, the way uh, you want and click the route that is uh, contained on the map on and off. So first I'm going to create an export. Now I have a KML file which I can import in Google Maps. Actually not Google Maps, but it is Google My Maps, which is an uh, addition on Google Maps. I go to Google My Maps, which you can reach from within Google Maps. But in Google My Maps I have the ability to create a new map. I click it and now in here I can import the KML file which I have created in my route app. Here, that's the one. Open it and here it is. Now I have the same thing that I have created in my route app in Google Maps. I can give it the name, not very necessary here, but I have here the ability to click the route on the map on and off. And I also have the ability to play a little bit with the styling. I can say let's give it another color and let's make the line a little bit thicker this way. And I can put it on and off again. Now I need to create those two screen dumps, one with the route and one without the route. How to do that? For that I am using Getwin print screen, which you can download uh, for free from the internet. And Getwin print screen is a very easy way of uh, creating rectangles on the screen and make screen dumps out of it very easily. So I go back to my route in Google Maps, Google My Maps that is, I have to activate Getwin print screen. And now when I press control print screen, I have the ability to create a rectangle, this one. I can drag it the way I want. This is the route, the map, the kingdom with the route. Click it, save it, and now it's saved in a folder on my computer. 
Now I go at doing the same thing, and the nice thing of Gatwin is, I click the route off again. If I use Control Print Screen again, Gatwin gives me the very same rectangle as I have used previously, and then I can click in here and make a second screen dump of the very same map without the route. Save it, done. The result is, well, also other examples of course, but here I do have a screenshot now with the route, and I have another one, exactly the same map without the route, right? And those two things are going to copy it in Filmora to do the final map animation. So now we do have two screenshots available. We are going to drag them into the media box from Filmora. The one with the route, I drag it into the timeline on the first track, and the one without the route, I drag that on top of it. Now in the preview window, you do not see the route in itself, but if I'm going to hide it, then the route is popping up. Next thing to do is select the mask. And inside the mask, we take the linear option. And you already see coming up now what the final idea is, because you see here the two images on top of each other with a separation, and I can drag it, drag it a little bit. No, it is a sensible. Come on. If I drag it from left to right and, and so on, then you see some kind of animation is already coming up. So this is actually what we are looking for, but this needs to be automated. And another thing that is important here is that the route from here is looping back a little bit. It goes to the north and then it uh, turns back a little bit to the left. So if we are doing a simple animation from uh, left to right horizontally, then you see here something that is we do not want actually, because then the route is coming on two places back again. It's, this is something what we don't want to have. So we need to find a solution for that. First thing to do here, I drag the line on the point where the route is starting, which is around here, a little bit left, 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 which is here. And then I create a keyframe because this is the starting position and we want to fix that by using a keyframe. Then I go to the playhead and drag it to the end. And then I go to the mask again here. And to be able to um, make a clear animation of the entire route progressing, I tick the box at the left side and I dra drag it down a little bit because then I get a good simulation of the moving route. Now it goes from left to right, so then I take the line and I go to no. Drag it from left to right, this way, till the point where the route is turning back to the north, which is around here somewhere. I take the rotation point, anchor point, I drag it down a little bit to avoid the route is coming back at two places. Okay. And then I take the line again and drag it to the north. Come up. This is sensible. Yeah. Okay. Drag it to the north, to the end point of the route, which is here. And that's it. If I now drag the playhead back and forth, you already see now exactly the thing what we are looking for. And you're going to run it automatically, playing it completely. There it is. 
done. There are two places on this route which are very beautiful. And I want to visit those places. And uh, for that, I want uh, to present those uh, two places on the map itself. How do I do that? For that, I have found on the internet a location icon. And that's the one I'm going to use. I drag it into the media box. And then I'm going to put that location icon on uh, the route on uh, the place where it should be. I'm going to drag the playhead to the place the first uh, location need to show up, which is here in this example. I'm going to lock those two tracks to avoid messing uh, the, the things up by mistake. I'm going to drag that location to the starting point of the playhead. It's way too large, so I'm going to give it the size I wanted to have. For instance, this one. Drag it to the point on the timeline. Is this a little bit there? Yeah, okay. And I want to give it a, a special presentation. So I go to the animation. I select here the preset motions, the legacy ones. There is a, a boom possibility there. I double click it because then it is applied to the location. And finally, I need to give that presentation the same length as the full animation, which is done this way. And then I'm going to create a second spot for the second location. For that, I'm going to copy this one. I'm going to lock it. Then I'm going to drag the playhead to the second place it needs to show up, which is uh, here. By using Ctrl V, I can copy that. First, it needs if it's too long, so it needs to be get the same length as the other ones. This way. Then the playhead was there, so that's the place it should show up. Now, of course, I have copied it, but I have copied it with the same location as the previous one. So I need to drag it to the place it needs to show up, which is here, sort of. Okay. And then I'm going to play the entire simulation from the beginning. Now let's see how it looks like. Done. Now, it can be that maps can be quite large. If the, the route is quite long, then you can uh, have uh, quite large uh, maps. And, uh, let's assume that you want to present that map uh, to the user in a more detailed, zoomed-in way, for instance, and then move a little bit over that map to the end. Uh, let's say that, that uh, you pan it from the beginning to the end of the route and present it that way to the user. It starts with creating an export of the project to a single uh, video and then pick up that video in a new project and process it from there. So we start with creating an export and make that export. The export has been created. So we create now a new project and then we drag that export into the media box. And from the media box, we drag it onto the timeline. Well, you can also drag it directly onto the timeline because then it also shows up in the media box. But that is not very important here. The idea is clear. You right click on the timeline, on the track. You select crap, crap and zoom. And then you make it pan and zoom. And then the box there here, you click from left to right. The starting point at the left corner. You can also drag it a little bit longer if you need to. For instance, this way. And the end thing is at the right upper corner. Also drag it a little bit larger. And basically, that's it. Apply it. And if you then run it, here it is. That's it.